The tree is still here. So, you know, I, we feel like we're a steward. I'm here a short period of time in comparison to this tree. So I feel like it's my job to, to make sure that this tree stays healthy. My name is Rod Joseph and my wife Daphne and I have a, between a 500 and 600 year old tree. There's so many things about this tree that I love. I mean, you know, of course, how grand the trunk is. I mean, it's just amazing. And then the crown, the way the limbs spread out and, you know, spread across the yard and across the, so the canopy is absolutely wonderful. There, it has a couple of unique things too. It has a beehive in it, it has an active, active beehive. And so I was worried about it when I moved in, uh, you know, that they had a beehive and I was worried that it would hurt the tree. And so I called a good friend of mine, she's an arborist, she graduated from Clemson and, and she lives up in Conway. And she said, oh no, that the healthy beehive is the sign of a healthy tree. So, uh, you know, I love the fact that we have beehive. Uh, the other thing I like is this greenery that you see on the tree, that's called resurrection fern. It's a fern, it doesn't depend on the tree, so it doesn't hurt the tree to grow. Like if you have a, another other trees like mistletoe will actually hurt a tree or if you have a vine growing on a tree, it'll choke out. This lives in harmony with the tree and it's called resurrection fern. And the reason they call it that is because when we have a dry spell, it turns brown and it looks like it's dead. And then we have a rain and then it turns this bright green. So I love the, the resurrection fern, I think is absolutely beautiful. So uh, those things make this tree very special. Um, because it was on the National Register, uh, it was also registered with State of South Carolina, we ended up getting a plaque in front of our house to register uh, the register of the tree. So it has been here for, we think about 500 to 600 years. I think it's the oldest tree in Georgia. I know behind the angel oak is the second oldest registered tree in South Carolina. It's the oldest one I know in Georgetown. I know it's the oldest registered tree in Georgetown. What they do is they come in and do the circumference of the tree. So in 1940, when they measured the tree, uh, they said it was, um, uh, they had a circumference of 23 feet they said it was 120 feet tall and a spread of 125 feet. Now, the tree is not that tall, we know it, but that, that's what they had in the measurements at the time. So we had Clemson University come last year to come and measure the tree, and they measured it, and they said it had a circumference of 27 and a half feet. It had a height of 61, 61 almost 62 feet. And, and that's pretty close to being right. And then it had a crown, which is the width of 122 feet. Now, the crown would probably be a little bit wider than that, but we live in a, you know, in a residential area, so it's been trimmed back. There's actually a, uh, another tree society in the Southeast that recognizes trees such as this, and uh, historical trees, actually it's in South Carolina. You submit a form uh, application and they judge the tree on its merits, its historical merits. This tree's never been submitted, which is interesting. So we just want to make sure people know about it. And you know what I want to do is I want to share this. This is not my tree. This is everyone's tree. And I want to share this with as many people as I can.